Hey, what's going on everybody? It's George, and today I wanted to talk about the importance of reading your book for the CCNP exam. Uh, so for the CCNA, I went ahead and did a lot of the videos uh, with CBT Nuggets and Chris Bryant, and I was actually able to do, you know, I, I did all of the reading essentially, but it was more of like a skim through all of the reading just to kind of reinforce yeah, some of the no a lot of the knowledge that I learned for the CCNA. However, I'm finding that for the CCNP, there's actually a lot of things that you really have to read. It's a lot of content, especially for the route exam, uh, which many think is the most difficult of the three exams. And um, I haven't taken all three of them, but I've kind of gone over the content and like seen, and uh, I think yeah, yeah, definitely the route is. Uh, I think it's going to be the most difficult. Now, what doesn't make the T-shoot as difficult is that Cisco gives you the topology, and uh, it's kind of simple in the sense that, I mean, the CCIE you get the topology as well, but there's a big range of things that you have to master with the CCIE, and in the uh, the CCNA it's it's not that the the CCMP it's it's not like that. So there's a lot of reading. That's what I'm doing now. Um, that I have to do especially in uh, route redistribution uh, BGP because that's something that um, that wasn't covered in the CCNA um, and really there's way too much to cover uh, for any teacher to be able to teach you everything that there is to know about BGP uh, and I do realize that the books don't tell you everything either but uh, it definitely goes more in depth about uh, you know the the different characteristics of BGP and and how to update routing protocols and manipulate um, manipulate routing updates and things like that. So you know I, I just have to remind you while doing the CCMP that do your reading and you can't avoid reading for that long and you have to be sure that you're on top of your game. Um, there's a lot that you can do to prepare, but the biggest thing that you can do is read and uh, I know many people are, aren't a fan of reading I'm not a fan of reading uh, nonfiction books but I do enjoy I do enjoy reading Cisco books and that's a uh, that's part of the reason why I want to become a network engineer so hopefully you all are having a good day and uh, good luck with your studies and I'll see you all in the next video bye bye